also Drake just dropped a crazy album with some really good tracks in there and my favorite one is Daylight produced by Southside. The main melody reminds me of Nardo Big Style and we got some insane drums to complement everything. So today I'm going to show you how you can mix something like this so let's get into it. Okay so first of all we're going to set the BPM to 140. Let's use this bell. Okay, they like this in E. So I'm going here, scale the lighting and select E. So we can have a similar vibe. I want to go for a triplet bounce, so I'm going here and select one third beat. Okay, I really like this melody, I just used a lot of semitones. When I use these semitones, I noticed that this note is going to sound really good. So we created a really hard melody, I just repeated it, so it's repetitive, but that's how we want it. Now to create that sound that Southside used, we can use either Portal or Film Micro. But for this time, I think Film Micro can do the work. Okay, let's render this. So I want to stretch it, so I'm going here, click this, and I'm going to double speed it. Okay, I like that. So we have our foundation for the beat and I want to add some bass notes to complement it. So I don't really like how this bass note sounds and I think it's because we are using the same notes as the A minor scale and maybe A will sound better. Yeah, that's it. They want it in E, so I'm going to pitch down 5 semitones the main sample. I want these bass notes to sound more full, so I'm going to duplicate the same note and one octave higher and maybe lower the velocity. Okay, I like that. The next instrument that I want to add is a choir, because we can hear a choir also on the original song. In this case, I just used the minor chord and I went up and I used the diminished chord because the C sharp is not in the scale and we can go up for semitones, so we're going to use the C. Here I used the major chord but I took out some notes. Here I wanted to add something at the end, so I used the same chord here, but I took out the C instead of the A, and then the same thing with the E minor chord. So I really like it, I want to add some reverb on it. I really have an EQ to cut some of the really high end and some of the low end. On the reverb, I'm going to turn this knob on the left. Okay, like that. We can also pan this on the left. I like to pan every element of my sample because it's good to give it to every instrument its own space. And I have a melody bus where I have uh, some stereo shaper to make the sound more wide and an EQ to make sure that uh, we don't have any low end so we can have space for the 808. In the main song we have basically only these two instruments. So we could stop here but I want to go on because I like to create some variation. So I want to add this violin from Analog Lab Bank. We already have a lot of effects on the violin, so I'm not going to add so too much. And I just have uh, this EQ. To create this melody, I also use the semitones to create that tension. I wanted to add another melody to give more energy to the hook. So I'm going to use the K2. So I'm just going to build a minor chord, copy these two notes. Then I want to strum everything, clicking uh, Alt S. Now we can copy it. I want to move down the middle note, so we're going to use a suspended chord. Okay, I like the melody, but I don't like the instrument, so I'm going to change it. I like the key 5. The next thing that I want to add is a thick bass, and then we can move to the drums. When you add a bass, remember to go on the envelope and move everything down except from the old. So the notes are going to play as long as I play them. I 
I like to add some slides to create uh, some variation on the bass. I just used the two semitones and then I went back to the root note. So I arranged the, the sample. I started with the main melody pitched down an octave and uh, obviously the bass. Then on the hook, as I said, I added this uh, melody that I made before and the main melody with the piano. Throughout the verse, I pitched down the main melody. So guys, I think I will render this and upload it and you will find the link to download the sample in the comments. But before I wanted to tell you that all the sounds that I use in this beat are from the Cryptic Multi Kit, you already know. And if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. I'm creating a new drum kit and I'm going to use a snare that I made yesterday. Don't be scared to try a different pitch for the drums too. I want to add a MIDI for the hi-hats because I'm lazy and I'm going to click alt to randomize the pan then we can add a hat this is one of my favorite spots and then at the end we can create some variation so let's add another snare The next thing that I want to add is a perk Let's add some delay on it, let's select ping pong and move the pen so now it's time for the 808, I'm going to use an 808 that I made yesterday called Future and it's really similar to the one used in Daylight. Here we can add a slide note. Let's add a kick. As you can hear, in this point, the kick isn't sounding too good. So I'm going to pitch it up. So I downloaded the acapella of Daylight. 